Okay, so now we're going to delve a little bit further into our analysis. And we're going to talk about uh, the sourcing and the, um, you know, the time frame as to when this happened. So the first thing I want you to figure out is what is the painting trying to tell us? Important victory. How long ago it was because of the clothes and, and their boat. What do you think? What's our painting trying to tell us? Important victory. Victory! He's portraying victory. I love it. How hard the, what, it was to Excellent. Give you uh, a little bit more. Do it, man. Where the setting is. Okay, what's the setting? You know you're not lying on the beach somewhere, are you? And Marissa, last one. Why they're crossing, which is because they wanted their freedom. Right. Now, the word that popped into my mind is I felt like the painter was trying to tell us um, just how treacherous this voyage truly is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in a minute, we will look at the painter. Now, when was the painting made? I'm not going to show you the other part. Write it down if you know it. Did he do this? Did the painter do this the day on Christmas Eve, 1775, 76, or whatever? Did he do it while he was on the boat? No. So how reliable is his depiction of the story? 75 years after. All right. Everybody, write down today's date. Add 75 to, the, to 2012. Do you think your memory of today is going to be as vivid about today, no. No. 75 no. years from now? No. no. So this is his impression. These are his. This he is probably what. Probably even wasn't there. I I doubt it. You're right. Okay. So I think you're right. Now, but keep that in mind. How reliable is this painter? Yeah. That he's painting this. 75 years after. Does that make a difference? Yes. yes. A very big difference. Does it change his message? Yes. I um, wanted them to make connections between the novel and the painting. And, and then it was earlier this year that I saw the uh, piece on, you know, what's wrong with this painting. Write this down somewhere on your paper. Letters. Diary accounts. Reports and items used by the troops. Guess what those are? Primary sources. All those things. The crossing began in the late afternoon. The sun, if it had been out, would have set by then. Very little light would have been visible outside of a few lanterns with candlelight. Okay? Compounding the darkness and certainly indicating that no sun was available is the fact that the diary account after diary account talk of the horrible weather that took place that accompanied the crossing. So ice that forms in the Delaware River tends to be large, solid sheets that break into flows. Some of these would have been too large and would have constantly pounded into the side of the boats. Okay? The boats would have taken quite a beating if they rode back and forth. Remember they were going back and forth? One of the favorite comments of folks as they view Mr. Lutz's painting is that they would not be standing in the boat like General Washington was. Raise your hand if you've ever been like in a canoe or a rowboat. What happens if you stand? You fall. Yeah, you rock the boat. Exactly. You're going to fall. I think most folks would agree that standing in the type of uh, rowboat that is seen would not be very safe, especially on a flat, fast-flowing river. According to descriptions of the painting, future president James Monroe is supposedly the young man holding the flag in the painting. James Monroe was a young man from Virginia when he left school to join the army. He was present at the crossing and subsequent battles. He was a lieutenant. So I wanted them to realize, you know, what you see might not be completely accurate. So I, th I thought they did a good job. They, they certainly interacted well with each other and... Um, I just thought they did a great job.